Uh, the only way you're ever going to really reduce, eliminate, significantly affect crime is if you get uh, the help of the public. I mean, the most effective crime-fighting mechanism in any country are the citizens of the country. So this campaign, Turn Back Crime, is, is enormously important. If you can energize the public to become involved in crime prevention, in awareness of crimes that they can report to the police and stop them before they happen, in programs to divert people from doing things that might be funding crime, they don't even know it by buying counterfeit goods or other items that are actually going to the hands of organized criminals or terrorists. People don't know that. I mean, they don't, they don't realize they're even doing it. Once they become aware of it, it can become very, very effective in significantly reducing crime and doing it permanently. International police cooperation is, is completely vital with the kinds of crimes that we fight today. As our economies become more interconnected, as our societies become interconnected, any form of sophisticated crime involves two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten countries. So even if it's organized crime, or it's terrorism, or it's counterfeit, or it's smuggling, or any of these crimes, no one country alone can fight these crimes. Uh, I know that from my background as a prosecutor as, and uh, fighting organized crime, fighting white collar crime. It was very rare that I didn't need the help of other countries. So if we can work together, we can be much more effective. And that's where Interpol plays a really enormous role because it creates an institutional uh, pr a presence uh, that uh, has these countries interacting with each other. Sometimes smaller countries don't even know how to interact with a larger country. So Interpol can be enormously helpful in creating that kind of, uh, that kind of connection. But if we're talking about uh, terrorism, organized crime, counterfeiting, smuggling, money laundering, even almost any form, even now, of white collar crime, there are international links to all of it. And the only way one country can fight it is by cooperating with other countries. So Interpol plays a major role, even more important than it used to in the past. But until you convince the people of a country that they have to cooperate, they have to be part of it, that's when you create like a lawful, that's when you create a lawful society. I saw that in New York, when we turned the uh, corner, we were fighting uh, crime, we were doing it effectively, but we really turned the corner when we got the public on our side. I saw it happen in Colombia. I mean, I've, I know the history of Colombia going back to the 1970s with the drug cartels and the FARC. And there things were so bad, uh, they were killing judges right in the court. All of a sudden, Colombia started a big effort against the FARC, against the drug cartels. They won over the public. And now Colombia is a very different place today than it was 20 or 30 years ago. But the critical element is you've got to get the public on your side. Once you get, your public on, once you get the public on your side, then the efforts become that much more effective. Then it just isn't the police and the prosecutors and the courts and the prisons. It's an entire country making the decision that they want to be a lawful country, they want to be a decent country, they want better opportunities for their children. If you can get them to cooperate, that's how you really turn, that's how you really turn the corner. Together, Together we can turn, turn back, back crime. crime.